Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Behind the Scenes, Natasha Romanoff was screwed. Chapter 21. I don't know how many years have passed, the Bronze Disciple is covered with moss, but many complex runes can still be seen faintly. Ordinary people may only think that this is an ancient ruins buried deep underground. But only Lin Fan knows what kind of miracles are buried here. Keel. A substance with magical powers. There is a Kunlun in China, and there are countless practitioners in it, including many who call themselves dragons. Kunlun regards the dragon bone as a sacred object, which is the biggest secret of the sect. But then several traitors appeared in Kunlun. These people stole the dragon bone, evaded pursuit and founded the hand in the foot basin country. With the help of the magical power of the dragon bone, they actually lived for hundreds of years. The dragon bone even has the ability to bring people back to life. Now Lin Fan is eyeing these keels. System, how many emotional points are needed to open the bronze door? Lin Fan asked while suppressing the throbbing in his heart. Ding, this bronze door is an artifact made by immortals in ancient times. It has a ceiling formation and requires 5,000 emotional points. 5,000. Lin Fan was shocked, but then became more and more ecstatic. Not to mention the keel behind the bronze door. This bronze door alone is a legendary magic weapon of the immortal family, and the material is by no means ordinary. If the system is modified, maybe a magic weapon can be obtained. No matter how you look at it, these 5,000 emotional points are worth the money. System, open the bronze door. Lin Fan ordered. Ding, the host consumes 5,000 emotional points, the bronze door is opening. Buzz. The void is flowing, and unknown power is coming. The bronze door trembled slightly. The runes on it lit up one after another, exuding a mysterious aura that directly annihilated the surrounding moss. The dilapidated bronze door suddenly took on a new look, with a sudden inspiration. Under Lin Fan's gaze, the bronze door slowly opened. A terrifying power swept across. But Lin Fan, who had the blessing of the system, simply ignored this power and walked into it casually. And behind the bronze door, a picture of huge amounts of dragon bones stands impressively. Hiss. What a big keel. Lin Fan couldn't help but secretly gasp. To know as far as he knows. Just a piece of dragon bone the size of a fingernail can bring people back to life, which is enough to show how powerful and rare the dragon bone is. And the keel in front of him now is a hundred meters high. It is not an exaggeration to say that he found a treasure. Staring intensely at the huge keel in front of him, Lin Fan muttered to himself and ordered the system. System, help me take away this keel and the bronze door. Ding, consume 2000 emotional points to generate storage space, collecting. The system prompts, and a space vortex is generated. The keels and bronze doors were sucked into it. The purpose of this trip was accomplished, and Lin Fan did not stay any longer, preparing to let the system teleport him out. But suddenly he seemed to think of something and turned around to look at the empty cave. The dragon bone that was originally sealed here was taken away by him. When the hand club people arrived and found nothing, Mrs. Gao and others would definitely become incompetent and furious. But he has no such bad taste. Looking at the surrounding environment, he felt that he might be able to take this opportunity to make some plans. System, build an altar here, set up a hidden compartment, and create a Penku treasure box to put inside. After pondering for a while, Lin Fan gave instructions to the system. Ding, consume 1000 emotional points, creating. While the system prompt sounds. In the empty space in front of Lin Fan, a simple altar was generated out of thin air, covered with complex runes. After the arrangement was completed, Lin Fan left here directly. It's still that deserted street corner. Lin Fan appeared out of thin air and walked outside leisurely. And not long after he left, a group of men in black quietly appeared in the building and used excavation equipment to dig out a passage. But when they entered the underground cave, they found it empty. The space behind the bronze door retains the scent of dragon bones. The head of the old woman looked gloomy. Not long ago, she sensed the breath of the dragon bone, and it was very strong. Through the induction of the keel, she found this place immediately. It's a pity that as far as the eye can see, there is no trace of the keel. Obviously before they came, someone had already arrived first and took away all the keel bones buried deep here. 
The dragon bone is related to the future of the hand, and even more to their survival. Check. Check it for me. She shouted sharply at the ninja behind her. At any cost, I want to know who stole the dragon bone, and I must take it back no matter what. Yes, Mrs. Gao. Ding, Mrs. Gao's emotional value is plus 1111. At the moment, rapid footsteps sounded, and a person walked quickly, holding a treasure box in his hand. Chief, we found this inside. This person worshipped Madame Gao respectfully. Um. Mrs. Gao frowned and looked down at the treasure box in the man's hand. But suddenly her pupils shrank. This seemingly ordinary treasure box contained an extremely evil aura, making her feel fear from the bottom of her soul. Even the black sky she once faced was probably nothing more than this. This is definitely a powerful and dangerous magic weapon. Where did you find it? Mrs. Gao asked in a deep voice. She had seen it just now. There was nothing in the entire cave, except for an altar. It didn't look like there was anything there. Right on top of the altar. The subordinates quickly reported to 1511. Just now, my men and others searched and found that there is a hidden compartment on the altar, and this object is placed in it. Secret grid. When Mrs. Gao heard this, her vigilance relaxed slightly. She fears this is a trap set by someone. After all, the keel was stolen, but this one thing was left alone, which was really inappropriate. But if it is hidden in a secret grid, it can be explained. But what exactly is it? Reaching out to take the treasure box, Mrs. Gao checked, but found nothing. But she had no choice but to give up temporarily and take people away. But the hand began to investigate. Madame Gao has issued a death order. Even if they pay any price, they must find the person who stole the dragon bone. And at the same time, ding, hey, have you been discovered yet? You moved so fast. Lin Fan, who had just walked out of Hell's Kitchen, raised his eyebrows slightly. He naturally knew Mrs. Gao's identity. Among the people who rebelled against Kunlun was Mrs. Gao. Relying on the dragon bones, these people not only lived for hundreds of years, but even founded the hand. Now the hand's influence spreads all over the world. But success is also the keel, and failure is also the keel. There are not many keels left in the hands of Mrs. Gao and others. The reason why the hand appears in New York is because of the dragon bones. It's a pity that someone moved a step faster than them. I'm really scared of the hand. Thinking of the keel he got, Lin Fan chuckled to himself and had already figured out how to use the keel. With the system in place, he wasn't afraid of being called upon by the hand. Besides, the hand has to find him. After paying 100 emotion points, the system had erased all traces of him, and the hand could not find him at all. And for the hand, he also left behind Penku's treasure box. As long as he wants, he can summon the devil to come at any time. This can be regarded as a layout made in advance. Since we want to cause trouble, we can't limit it to the Avengers. Naturally, the more backup, the better. The hand is the second, lucky person, he selected. Half an hour later, after calling a taxi, Lin Fan arrived at a five-star hotel. He checked in quickly. In the presidential suite, Lin Fan lay on the soft bed, his mind sinking into his system. System, do you have any good suggestions about the keel? Lin Fan asked the system in his mind. Compared to himself, the omnipotent system obviously knows how to use the keel better. And the system did not let him down. Ding, there are three ways to use it, please check it out yourself. Buzz. A curtain of light appeared in front of Lin Fan. It is about the use of keels. One is of course cultivation, absorbing the mysterious energy in the dragon bones, strengthening the body and generating mana. Just like Mrs. Gao and others from the hand, they practice dragon bone refining. It's just that their skills are very crude. It was originally a magical object that could make people become immortals and ancestors, but in their hands, it turned out to be just the fifth scum of war. Not to mention Thor, Tony Stark can take care of them. This obviously does not bring out the true effect of the keel. The power provided by the system is not the case. As the saying goes, the product produced by the system must be of high quality, and it can perfectly refine the dragon bone directly. Hundreds of millions of dragon bones. If all this is refined, let alone cultivating magic power, I am afraid that I can transform into Superman directly. This is possible. My own strength must also be improved. 
Lin Fan nodded secretly, already a little excited. But he still endured it. He wanted to see what else the system could do besides being used for cultivation. The second method of use is also very simple and crude. That is to refine the dragon bones into resurrection potion. Mrs. Gao and others once used the power of the dragon bone to resurrect a lost woman. Later, that woman became the human carrier of the evil god Haikong. This is enough to prove that dragon bones can bring people back to life. Lin Fan was naturally even more excited about this. Not to mention the temptation of resurrection, just using it for some planning can definitely cause huge amounts of sensation. But Lin Fan was even more curious about the third way to use the keel. And when he finished reading it, everyone was dumbfounded. Transform the dragon bone and summon the dragon. Looking at the introduction on the light screen, Lin Fan called him an expert. This is the perfect feeling of seeing Dragon Ball. But come to think of it, the system can be created out of thin air, and it can be modified on the basis of the dragon's bones to revive the dragon. The dragon from ancient times has reappeared in the world, which is very sensational just thinking about it. That is definitely a powerful existence no less than a god. It's really hard to decide how to choose. Looking at the three usage methods given by the system, Lin Fan couldn't help but get entangled. Improving his strength is naturally his most urgent priority. But resurrection potions are also important. If you can summon a divine dragon, it can even cause a sensation and gain a lot of emotional value. It can only be said that an omnipotent system is too omnipotent. This really posed a problem for him. After some pondering, Lin Fan finally made a decision. He ordered the system in his mind. System, how many emotional points do I need to obtain strength comparable to Thor Thor in a resurrection potion refined from three dragon bones? Ding, it requires 30,000 emotional points. Can the host confirm? 30,000, it's not much. Lin Fan was relieved after hearing this and took action directly. Thor Thor's strength is neither strong nor weak. But at least on today's earth, as long as the ancient one magician does not appear, he is basically invincible. Three resurrection pills are enough for him to use in his next plan. As for the remaining keel. Confirm. Lin Fan gave an order, and the power of the system came quietly. Huge amounts of keels are broken down directly. Like a rushing river, the mysterious power in the dragon's bones continues to pour in, transforming and strengthening Lin Fan's body. Under the protection of the system, there is no danger in this process. Lin Fan only felt warm and comfortable all over. It was like soaking in a hot spring, or like a beautiful woman gently touching her, making him squint his eyes comfortably. I don't know how much time passed, but the transformation of my body came to an abrupt end. A powerful force filled Lin Fan's body. Call. After exhaling, Lin Fan slowly opened his eyes. A flash of light passed away. Feeling the power in his body like a dragon and a tiger galloping, he clenched his fist and punched out, causing ripples in the void. Lin Fan nodded with satisfaction and looked at the three ammunition in front of him. A refreshing fragrance emanated, but after just a few glances, Lin Fan asked the system to be put away for later use. The remaining keel can be used for the next plan. Without any hesitation, he commanded the system again. System, I want you to create a perfect creation based on the dragon bones. No matter whether you live or die. Ding, this requires consuming 100,000 emotional points. Can the host confirm? 100,000. Lin Fan was startled when he heard the system prompt. This is all his belongings. After planning for such a long time, he only got hundreds of thousands of emotional points, and he had spent tens of thousands before. Now that the system wants another 100,000 from him, the landlord has no spare money. However, he endured it for the sake of his next plan. Ding, the host consumes 100,000 emotional points, the emperor man is being created. Just when Lin Fan was spending crazily. At the same time, in the Avengers base, through the aura of the evil god remaining on Natasha Romanoff's body, Bella finally got some information about the evil god Cthulhu after being backlashed. According to vague deductions, Cthulhu is sleeping somewhere in the solar system. But the good news is it shouldn't be on Earth. Everyone, thank you for your help. I want to go for a walk outside the stars. If I have any news, I will contact you. Bella nodded politely to everyone, and then disappeared. She was directly preparing to go to the stars. 
Captain America and others watched silently, marveling at Bella's strength, but more worried about the future. The existence of evil gods is a huge amount of threat to mankind. And there was nothing they could do to stop this. Even according to Bella, the influence of the evil god Cthulhu continues, and more people will follow in the footsteps of Fox Town. Even themselves. Once unable to resist the infection of the evil god's aura, they will all become walking zombies. Tony Stark cursed in his heart and stood up directly. The steel armor is automatically assembled on the body. Without any nonsense, he returned directly to Stark Manor and tried to develop technology that could fight against the evil god. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. And in the conference room, Nick Fury scanned the audience and said in a deep voice, Everyone, whether the situation is true or not requires further information verification. After saying that, he took Natasha Romanoff and others directly back to S.H.I.E.L.D. Only Captain America and others were left in the conference room with sad faces. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1333. Ding, Bruce Banner's mood value is plus 1333. Ding, Natasha Romanoff. Ding, among S.H.I.E.L.D., Nick Fury and others are back here. Regarding what happened to Natasha Romanoff, Nick Fury once again asked in detail and even included the runes behind it. Combined with a series of clues previously obtained in Fox Town, S.H.I.E.L.D. expert team studies it. They tried to study these weird runes for any clues about the evil god Cthulhu. Natasha Romanoff looked hesitant, but finally said in a deep voice. Director, I think the evil god is dangerous. If he conducts research without authorization, he may make the same mistake as Fox Town. Nick Fury didn't speak when he heard this. He stared at Natasha Romanoff indifferently. Regarding Natasha Romanoff's doubts, he looked calm and exuded an aura of calmness and authority. I don't want you to feel it, I want me to feel it. Nick Fury said in a tone that was unequivocal. Neither you nor I want the tragedy in Fox Town to happen again. No matter whether the evil god exists or not, this is to prevent problems before they happen. But, Natasha Romanoff also tried to persuade her. Witnessing the tragedy in the small town of Forks with her own eyes, Natasha Romanoff still has lingering fears. That terrible scene was like purgatory on earth. If any accident occurs when studying the evil god Cthulhu without authorization, the consequences will be absolutely disastrous. This is what she doesn't want to see. No buts. Nick Fury looked gloomy, waved his hand and said. Do your job and get down. I don't want to say the same thing a second time. Yes, director. Natasha Romanoff left helplessly and worriedly. Nick Fury's eyes were dark. Compared to Natasha Romanoff's worries, he is also afraid of Cthulhu, but he also has his own calculations. The evil god Cthulhu is certainly a huge threat that cannot be ignored. But what happened to Bella made him very moved. If this miracle can be reproduced, S.H.I.E.L.D. can have its own, Superman. That is a powerful existence comparable to Thor Thor. It's also a huge help to humans. He will definitely be prepared for potential risks, and he has an unknown trump card. Open the drawer and there is an old pager inside. Nick Fury's eyes flickered and he shook his head. He murmured softly. Now is not the time. Ding, Nick Fury's emotional value is plus 1333. At the same time, Stark Manor. Tony Stark returned here, locked himself directly in the laboratory, and began to study the evil god Cthulhu. He also asked Jarvis to scan and include the runes about the evil god. After analysis by Jarvis, these runes have never appeared on Earth. So there is no way to know its meaning. After some fruitless research, Tony Stark had no choice but to give up and start studying his area of expertise. In his opinion, since he couldn't study Cthulhu, he might as well improve himself. Making yourself stronger is equivalent to weakening your enemy. Jarvis, integrate the data of different metals, add more vibranium this time, and see if you can create nanometals. Tony Stark continued to manipulate the virtual panel. Jarvis performs operations as instructed. By integrating many metals and conducting data analysis, we can determine whether nanometals can be transformed. If you want to improve the combat effectiveness of steel armor, nanometal is undoubtedly an excellent choice. The first is that portability has been greatly improved. 
Moreover, the performance of integrating nanometals from multiple materials is even more powerful. Unfortunately, the field of nanotechnology is too obscure and broad. As smart as Tony Stark, after such a long period of research, he has not made much progress. For a while, Tony Stark immersed himself in the laboratory, forgetting to eat and sleep, sleepless and restless. Meanwhile, far away in Hell's Kitchen, the hand sprang into action. In order to investigate the information about the person who stole the dragon bone, under the instruction of Madame Gao, the entire hand was put into operation. Mrs. Gao will do whatever it takes to get the dragon bone. Many ordinary people suffered as a result. Including those gangster forces, they are also unbearable, and their rivals, the Heihui, are complaining. For a time, the whole Hell's Kitchen was in turmoil. And in the hand's base, looking at the Penku treasure box in front of her, Mrs. Gao's eyes darkened, thinking about how to crack it. She could see the extraordinary quality of this magic weapon at a glance. But if she wanted to use this magic weapon, she couldn't do it. This magical weapon is obviously not that simple. Through her short research, she found the origin of the runes on Penku's treasure box. It is an obscure writing from ancient China. Even with the power of the hand, there is no expert who can decipher this kind of writing, but she has people all over the world looking for it. What kind of power does this magical weapon have? Mrs. Gao murmured in a low voice, looking forward to it. The theft of a keel is indeed infuriating. But if you can find a way to use this magic weapon after getting it, it might be an unexpected surprise. And she had an inexplicable hunch that this magic weapon was not simple. It may even bring her huge amounts of surprises. And at the moment, there were rapid footsteps outside, and then a person broke in. The visitor said anxiously, It's not good, leader. Those of us who went out to investigate the dragon bones were hunted by the stick man. Gunsu. Mrs. Gao stood up suddenly. Gather the ninjas quickly. She waved her hand to put away the Penku treasure box, looked at the man coldly, and said in a deep voice. This time I'm going to kill that old fool. Yes, leader. The hand acted very quickly and quickly gathered the ninjas. Mrs. Gao led the team to the scene of the incident. This is a gang location. In order to investigate the theft of the dragon bone, the hand ninjas directly launched a search here without paying any attention to the gang. But while they were searching, Gunsu suddenly appeared. This person is the mortal enemy of their hand. As the leader of the hand association, Mrs. Gao knew the identity of Gunsu. This old fool is a member of the Truth Society. The Truth Society and the Hand Society are in a competitive relationship, and due to conflicts of interest, the two sides are already locked in a fight to the death. This time Gunsu dared to sabotage the hand's plan to find the dragon bones. Madame Gao made up her mind to kill this man. Gunsu, you are looking for death. As soon as she arrived here, Mrs. Gao saw the stick man killing everyone. Many ninjas from the hand were killed by stick men. Mrs. Gao's face was gloomy, and her rickety body flew out, bursting out with a speed that was completely unbelievable for her age. The crutch in her hand was like a poisonous snake, stabbing straight into the stickman's back. HMPH. Old witch, do you think I'm afraid of you? The old man snorted disdainfully and threw out the iron rod in his hand with his backhand. A stick and a cane collided violently. As old rivals, the two have fought countless times, and this time they are naturally evenly matched. In an instant, the two exchanged dozens of moves. Kill this fool. Mrs. Gao withdrew and quickly retreated, then ordered her men to attack Gunsu. These ninjas are dead warriors trained by the hand. As long as she can besiege and kill Gunsu, she will not feel any distress no matter how much she sacrifices. Swish, swish, swish. A group of ninjas came forward and fought to the death. Gunsu was immediately in danger. After all, facing a group of dead soldiers who are not afraid of death, even he will feel troubled if they are constantly coming. You don't have martial ethics. Gunsu cursed secretly in his heart, and quickly shouted into the darkness. Come and help me quickly. What? Mrs. Gao was shocked and quickly looked into the darkness. A figure suddenly fell from the sky. The person was wearing a black cloak, hiding his figure and making it impossible to see his face. But seeing the person coming, Mrs. Gao exclaimed angrily. Is it you, Daredevil? Daredevil was unmoved. The guide stick in his hand was like a murderous weapon. In a flash, he directly took the lives of several ninjas. 
Gunsu took advantage of this opportunity, coordinated internally and externally, and directly killed the ninja. In the blink of an eye, half of the ninjas were dead. Okay, okay. Seeing this, Mrs. Gao's eyes burst into flames, and her rickety body trembled with anger. Stickman and Daredevil are their mortal enemies. Over the years, these two guys have constantly undermined the Han's plans, and the two sides have been fighting to the death. Now these two dare to influence the Han's investigation into the theft of the dragon bone. This even threatens their plan to continue their lives. With all the old and new grudges added up, Mrs. Gao became completely angry and decided to use her strongest trump card. As long as that existence is summoned, killing these two people is absolutely no problem. You can even use that person's ability to find the dragon bone. You are asking for your own death. Thinking of this, Mrs. Gao took action directly. She took out a dragon bone from her arms. The energy in her palms flowed, and she silently recited some strange spell, and the dragon bones in her hands glowed with black light. Suddenly ripples appeared in the void, and the space gradually became distorted. A twisted space vortex slowly formed. Waves of terrifying black aura surged out, exuding a disgusting aura of death, as if some evil presence was coming. Seeing this scene, the stick man in the distance exclaimed in shock. No, stop her quickly. Although he didn't know what Mrs. Gao was going to do. But you know it if you think about it. What Mrs. Gao can use at this time is definitely a hidden trump card, which poses a great threat to them. Once Mrs. Gao succeeds, the consequences will be disastrous. Daredevil immediately wanted to stop Mrs. Gao. But unfortunately, he was directly blocked by the ninja and could not break through the encirclement in a short time. The old man's face was extremely gloomy. Seeing the space vortex condense and take shape, the rich black aura surged, and a twisted figure slowly crawled out of it. Haikong, the evil god, is coming. Please devour everything here. Mrs. Gao's voice sounded hoarse with excitement. The next moment, the void shook. The terrifying demonic figure crawled out of the space vortex, its blood-red eyes flashing with bloodthirsty eyes, staring greedily at the stickman and others present. Suddenly the space trembled, and his figure disappeared instantly. A shrill scream echoed throughout the audience. Under everyone's horrified gaze, a ninja's head was twisted off, and blood spurted out. The black shadow swallowed the ninja's corpse directly into his mouth. The sound of chewing makes people feel cold all over. The evil god Haikong is indeed powerful. But fortunately, I have the means to control the opponent. While Mrs. Gao was shocked, she couldn't help but feel even more proud. This is their hand's strongest trump card. There is an evil god named Haikong as a thug, let alone a mere stickman. Even the truth society cannot defeat them. At the moment, a cruel smile appeared on her lips, and she said in a deep voice. Evil god Haikong, please kill them. Hiss. A strange sound sounded, and the evil god Haikong disappeared again. This time he went straight towards Gunsu and killed him. The death threat came, and the stickman was horrified. His whole body was cold. Seeing the evil god Black Sky attacking, Gunsu tried to resist and violently swung his iron rod to sweep away thousands of troops. Just hear a bang, the evil god Haikong remained unmoved, but Stick Man was knocked over. He rolled around on the ground several times in a panic. Not good. Daredevil was shocked when he saw this and quickly jumped to the rescue. His figure flashed and came to the Stick Man. While lifting the other person up, there was no hesitation at all. He obviously wanted to escape from here. The power of the evil god Haikong was beyond his understanding. There is no escape now, otherwise they would have to answer here today. Want to run? Dreaming. Mrs. Gao sneered when she saw this. The evil god Haikong is so powerful that these two guys can't fight against him. Today is the day for the old thief Gunsu to die. Kill them. Mrs. Gao shouted in a deep voice. But what she didn't expect was that the evil god Haikong did not follow her orders and hunt down Daredevil and Stickman who escaped. Instead, he directly changed direction and started killing those ninjas. In the blink of an eye, all the ninjas were devoured by the evil god Black Sky. What? How could this happen? Mrs. Gao was frightened and subconsciously took two steps back. She was afraid that the evil god Haikong would take action against her. But perhaps because he was full, or for other reasons, the evil god Haikong directly hovered in midair. His strange scarlet eyes stared straight at Madame Gao. 
Gia Gia Gia. Waves of weird laughter sounded. Call. Mrs. Gao breathed a sigh of relief, but she became wary in her heart. The evil god Haikong is still out of control. It seems that if you want to control the other party, you still have to use the sealing method to integrate the evil god Haikong into the human carrier. In this case, the evil god Haikong will have no chance of losing control. Thinking of this, Mrs. Gao left here directly. She returned to base with the evil god Black Sky. The evil god carrier she chose had been prepared long ago and was a human woman named Erika. This person was once an assassin of the Truth Society, and he was very powerful. There is no more suitable carrier of the evil god than her. Dot. Meanwhile, on the other side, Daredevil and Stickman escaped and soon returned to their residence, feeling extremely heavy. Gunsu, are you okay? Daredevil asked worriedly as he took off his battle suit. Daredevil's real name is Mark Murdoch, a blind lawyer who once became super able due to an accident. Later, under the guidance of Gunsu, he became a heroic superhero. And the hand is their main target. Fine. The stick man waved his hands, his face looking very ugly. The evil god Haikong is too powerful. Now that the hand has such a boost, how can the truth society, where he belongs, fight against the opponent? Once suppressed by the hand, the power of the truth society will be greatly reduced. This is obviously a result he doesn't want to see. Hand. He was angry in his heart, but the stick man was helpless. He said in a deep voice to Daredevil. I didn't expect that the hand would have such a trump card. In the short term, you and I will not take action against them again. After speaking, Gunsu left directly and prepared to contact the headquarters of the truth society. He must report the situation here. Daredevil watched silently and did not stop him, but his heart felt a little heavy. The hand club operates a pornographic, gambling and drug business, which has harmed too many people. This is why he tried to destroy the hand. But his personal strength is limited. Now that the hand has summoned such an evil demon again, with his strength, it is even more impossible for him to be an opponent. Thinking of this, Daredevil sighed helplessly. What should we do? Meanwhile, the hand base. Mrs. Gao came to the secret room. Erika, who was resurrected by them with dragon bones, is now sleeping here, and is now used as the carrier of the evil god. Evil god Haikung, this is the sacrifice I prepared for you. Enjoy it. Mrs. Gao said in a bewitching voice. The evil god Haikung's scarlet eyes flashed. He stared at Madame Gao, but the latter's expression was indifferent, with an emotion called anticipation in her eyes. Jia Jia Jia. The evil god Haikong laughed twice, his figure twisted and flickered. Then he flashed directly. Under Mrs. Gao's expectant gaze, the evil god Black Sky penetrated directly into Erika's body, and the rich black aura directly enveloped her. Seeing this scene, Mrs. Gao immediately took out a piece of dragon bone. This is one of the few dragon bones in her hand. The art of sealing, Kai. Mrs. Gao recited the incantation silently, and the dragon bones melted, turning into the purest energy. Energy runes sealed Erika's body. In the shrill roar, the evil god Haikong was directly sealed, and Erika's face became distorted. That beautiful face must be ferocious, like a fierce ghost. The entire secret room was filled with an evil aura. Mrs. Gao watched silently, without any fear, only with anticipation and enthusiasm. The evil god Haikong. From now on, he will be the puppet of my hand. Buzz. Erika's body suddenly shook, and then there was no movement. After a moment Erika opened her eyes suddenly. A flash of blood disappeared. Under Mrs. Gao's expectant gaze, Erika turned over and looked directly at her with empty eyes. From now on, you are the evil god Haikong. Mrs. Gao said enthusiastically. Black sky belongs only to the hand. Erika said nothing, but her eyes were slightly lowered. This represents her obedience to Mrs. Gao. Ha ha ha. The evil god Black Sky is in hand, Stickman, Daredevil, and the Truth Society will all die. Mrs. Gao looked proud, with a cold look on her old face. Then she turned around and walked out of the secret room. A subordinate walked quickly from a distance. Chief, the ancient writing expert has arrived. Do you want to meet him? Oh. Mrs. Gao was surprised, then nodded and said. Let's go. Take me there. The Penku treasure box has an extraordinary origin. If it is successfully deciphered, we may know how to use this magical weapon. 
When she learned that the ancient writing expert had arrived, she couldn't help but become more and more excited. There is really good news coming one after another today. Soon Mrs. Gao met the ancient writing expert, who looked like a senior. This is the result of coercion and inducement from the hand. Facing the senior officials of the hand association, the ancient writing expert did not dare to make any mistakes and quickly showed a humble attitude. Look at this. Mrs. Gao was too lazy to talk nonsense and directly took out the Penku treasure box. The ancient writing expert's eyes suddenly lit up when he saw it. Although he came under threat, he immediately became interested when he saw this extraordinary ancient artifact. And if you cooperate well, he can regain his freedom soon. He immediately picked up the Penku treasure box and looked at it. Hiss. Oh my god, I didn't expect that the legendary lost civilization actually existed. The ancient writing expert was amazed, with a look of emotion on his face. Mrs. Gao watched silently and said nothing. Half an hour later. Seeing the other party's delay in responding, Mrs. Gao said calmly. How's it going? Did you see anything? There's a discovery. Perhaps because he was too excited, the ancient writing expert was not as fearful as before. He said with excitement, if I read it correctly, this cultural relic was handed down from ancient times 5,000 years ago. It is a treasure of a lost civilization. Can you decipher the words on this? Mrs. Gao asked, holding back her anticipation. This, the ancient writing experts were immediately in trouble. In related studies, it is believed that there was a lost civilization in China in ancient times. But there has been no definite proof of this. Now this cultural relic should be considered the first. That's why he's excited. But it was difficult for him to decipher the words above. The difficulty was not ordinary. What, is there a problem? Mrs. Gao said in a deep voice. Forehead. The ancient writing expert had a sudden thought and quickly said with a smile. There are difficulties, but I will try my best. Not trying my best. Mrs. Gao said in a tone that said. Give you a month, I need the results, otherwise. After speaking, Mrs. Gao left directly. Only the ancient writing expert was left with a miserable look on his face. But looking at Penku's treasure box, he soon became full of motivation and couldn't wait to study it. These ancient texts may be able to reveal an ancient lost civilization for them. For a moment he couldn't help but tremble with excitement. Dot. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Penku treasure box was triggered. This hand is really a good helper for me. Lin Fan chuckled and shook his head secretly. The Penku treasure box was created on a whim, with the idea of planning a big show with the help of the hand. Unexpectedly, just one day later, Penku's treasure box would be triggered. It seems that there are experts among the hand. I just don't know how long it will take for the hand to decipher Penku's treasure box and open the space door that summons demons. System, how many emotional points are needed to create the eight demons? Lin Fan asked the system in his mind. Ding, the arrival of the eight demons requires 10,000 emotional points each. I am here. Lin Fan was slightly stunned, but soon understood what the system meant. The eight demons can indeed come in the form of demonic energy. In the original setting, the eight demons were sealed in the demon space, but they were unwilling to lose their freedom. So they use the devil's energy to corrupt human beings and other creatures into devils. In this way, they can take this opportunity to come to the world again. Maybe the system asked specifically for this reason. A demon is worth 10,000 emotions. Looking at it this way, it's quite a bargain. Lin Fan made some calculations in his mind. The eight demons are very powerful, and each possesses special powers. It can even cause a doomsday disaster that will destroy the earth. If it weren't for plot killing. With the strength of the eight demons, they have already ruled the earth. So 10,000 emotion points is reasonable. If these eight demons are created and joined forces, they will definitely cause a huge sensation in New York. But at present, his emotional value has been used up and he can't take action yet. It seems he will have to wait a while longer. As time goes by, the influence brought by Cthulhu gradually ferments, and it is time to set off a new change. And the lucky guy chosen by him this time is named. Killian. Time flies, and half a month passes in the blink of an eye. In stark manner, Tony Stark has been locked in the laboratory for such a long time and has not been out for half a month. 
Regarding the business of Stark Industries, everything was left in Pepper's hands. This also makes Pepper very busy. In the underground laboratory, Tony Stark is disheveled, his eyes are bloodshot, and he is obsessed with research. These days he's been working on nanotechnology. And every night when he went to sleep, various nightmares destroyed his spirit, making him look more and more decadent. But every time he woke up, he couldn't remember what he dreamed about. Sir, you need to rest. J-A-R-V-I-S's cold voice sounded, but it was full of concern for Tony Stark. Sometimes cold machines are warmer than people. I know what I'm doing. Tony Stark said calmly, not moved at all. J-A-R-V-I-S said nothing more. He is just an artificial intelligence that detects that Tony Stark has health problems, and he will proactively give a reminder. But Tony Stark refused to adopt it, so there was nothing he could do to force it. Soon another whole day of sleepless research passed by. Tony Stark punched out hard. There has been no progress for such a long time, and Tony Stark is even more anxious. There was no hiding the dark eyes on his face. Tony Stark poured himself a glass of whiskey, drank it in one gulp, and lay on the sofa and fell asleep. And in his dream, the familiar chaos scene reappeared. Tony Stark felt himself falling infinitely. It was as if he was falling into an abyss, and various horrific scenes reappeared one after another. That was the biggest nightmare in his heart. Thanos is coming. The other party just snapped his fingers, the earth collapsed and mankind became extinct. The Avengers all died at the hands of Thanos. And his favorite woman, Pepper, and their lovely daughter, all died in the war. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2333. No no. Tony Stark's whole body was shaking violently, and his face was almost distorted. J-A-R-V-I-S detects abnormalities and continuously gives warnings. But Tony Stark couldn't hear it at all. Suddenly, Tony Stark stood up suddenly, feeling dizzy. He rubbed his swollen forehead and looked very pale. Sir, are you having nightmares again? J-A-R-V-I-S's cold voice sounded. Tony Stark said nothing. He picked up the bottle and took a sip. The strong liquor entered his throat and he gasped. J-A-R-V-I-S, what time is it? 2.30 in the morning. 2.30. So late. Tony Stark frowned and asked casually. How's Pepper doing? Ms. Pepper has been very busy recently. She just went to Germany on a business trip yesterday and she is probably asleep now. Report from J-A-R-V-I-S. 1510. Thank you Pepper. Tony Stark smiled helplessly, but he was very pleased. What more can a husband ask for when he has such a wife? But at the moment, dee 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 dee, the rapid ringtone suddenly came to mind, and J-A-R-V-I-S said. Sir, Miss Pepper's phone number. Pepper. Tony Stark was stunned and didn't understand why Pepper called him at this time. Is it because there is a connection between the two of them? The corners of his mouth raised slightly, and he said quickly. Connected. Hey, Pepper, did you miss me when you called me so late? The call was connected, Tony Stark said jokingly. He was feeling physically and mentally exhausted. But when he received Pepper's call, he immediately became energetic and felt much better. But on the other side of the phone, Pepper's anxious voice sounded. Tony, something happened to Happy. What? Dot. Suppressing the anger in his heart, Tony Stark controlled the suit and headed for Germany at a speed exceeding the speed of sound. Because just now, he learned a piece of news that made him want to kill someone. Pepper and Happy encountered an explosion. In order to protect Pepper, Happy lured away the enemy alone, causing himself to pass out in the explosion. If the local police station hadn't arrived in time, Pepper might have suffered as well. Now Happy has been sent to the hospital. But even if he received timely treatment, Happy's injuries were very serious and even life-threatening. When Tony Stark heard the news, he felt angry. An urge to kill almost overwhelmed his sanity. He couldn't imagine how desperate he would be if it was Pepper lying in the hospital. Definitely even Happy can't accept this fact. He would never allow anyone to hurt those around him. J-A-R-V-I-S, investigate the situation immediately. I want to know who is the culprit. Tony Stark said through gritted teeth as he walked. J-A-R-V-I-S's cold voice sounded. Okay, sir. Soon, J-A-R-V-I-S collected the surveillance video from the time and analyzed relevant clues. 
At the same time, these videos were also synchronized to Tony Stark. Only seen in the surveillance screen. Several people burst out at unusual speeds, their bodies glowing with a strange red light, and they frantically chased Happy who was driving. At the moment Pepper had been put down by Happy and was left alone to attract the enemy. When the car turned a corner, a strange man suddenly appeared. Happy drove right into a street light sign. But he didn't dare to stop at all, and hurriedly staggered out of the car, trying to get rid of the pursuer behind him. And at the moment, the local police also rushed over. The two sides started a fierce battle. Those monsters are extremely powerful and can even control fire. They are suspected of being superpowers. Even the police's firearms can't do anything to them. But later, for some unknown reason, the weirdo who had the upper hand suddenly launched a self-destruction attack. Everyone within a kilometer of the surrounding area was blown over, including Happy who couldn't escape. The attack had just ended. Weird. Where do these weirdos come from? As a superpower, life is so not precious. After watching the surveillance, Tony Stark fell into deep thought. His mood became more and more solemn. The weirdo is very powerful. Even if he is present, he cannot easily defeat the opponent. But such a powerful super person actually chose to die together. This is enough to show the madness of the people behind the scenes. To be able to send out so many superpowers and even abandon them without hesitation, the power of the people behind the scenes is definitely very powerful. Tony Stark's face turned extremely ugly when he thought that there was such an enemy secretly targeting him. It wasn't that he was worried about his own safety. He himself has a steel armor, even if he encounters danger, he is not afraid. But what about Happy? Where's Pepper? If something like this happened again today, would Pepper survive? Tony Stark's eyes flashed with burning murderous intent. No matter who you are. If you dare to attack Pepper, I tell you, you have made an enemy who shouldn't be provoked. A few hours later, Tony Stark arrived in Germany. He found Pepper immediately. During this period, he also received a call from S.H.I.E.L.D. Phil Coulson, but he hung up without even saying a few words. Tony Stark is increasingly dissatisfied with S.H.I.E.L.D. After something like this happened, the other party still wanted him not to act impulsively. He was patient enough not to kill anyone directly. S.H.I.E.L.D. actually wanted to teach him how to do things. Not bothering to pay attention to S.H.I.E.L.D., Tony Stark decided to investigate on his own, but not without telling Pepper. Pepper, how is Happy doing now? Outside the ward, Tony Stark looked at the unconscious Happy and asked worriedly. We're out of danger. Pepper said, with lingering fear on her face. At the same time, she felt a little guilty and said. It's all my fault. If it wasn't for protecting me, Happy wouldn't. No, Pepper. Tony Stark held Pepper's cattails. He said with a cold face. Those people are here just for me. If they are going to get you involved, it should be me who gets you involved. Tony Stark sees this very clearly. Happy and Pepper are just normal people. If someone wanted to target him, it should be aimed at him. He was the one who got Happy into trouble. He couldn't help but think of the morning whip that once attacked him. Maybe it will be the same drama this time. Pepper, please take a rest first. I will definitely find the best doctor and I will never let anything happen to Happy. Tony Stark comforted Pepper and put him to sleep. Then he walked out of the lounge alone. Sitting on a chair outside, he asked J-A-R-V-I-S. J-A-R-V-I-S, what were the results of the investigation? There's a clue. J-A-R-V-I-S said calmly and projected the relevant investigation results. He only discovered the identities of the attackers. Tramp. Retired soldiers. A few months ago, these people were just ordinary people, and it was impossible for them to have super abilities. Tony Stark has no conflicts with them. But today, a few months later, each of these people possesses special powers and extraordinary strength. There is definitely a pair of big hands behind this. Who is it? Tony Stark gritted his teeth, his eyes flashing fiercely. He hasn't wanted to kill someone for a long time. But he had no way of finding out who was behind the scenes, and he couldn't help but have a headache for a while. J-A-R-V-I-S. Is there any connection between these people? No. J-A-R-V-I-S spoke calmly. Through background checks on these people, all of them suddenly disappeared and did not appear again until today. As for where they went and what they experienced, it is unknown. 
Tony Stark was silent for a while after hearing this. It's hard for a clever woman to make a meal without rice. There are no clues. Where should he start to investigate? No matter how angry he is, he can only suppress it in his heart and have nowhere to vent it. Ding. And at the same time, an industrial park called AIM pioneered technology. In the luxurious office, founder Killian is sitting here. At the moment, a proud smile appeared on his lips. In front of him, the scene of the explosion was being replayed, as well as news reports about Tony Stark's arrival in Germany. Tony Stark. Ha, huh, I want to see how you deal with it. Killian said sadly. He was the instigator of the bombings that occurred in Germany, and the cause was nothing more than love and hatred. He was also Tony Stark's most important fan. However, idols are not human beings. Every time he thought about the day he was deceived onto the cold rooftop, while Tony Stark had an affair with the beautiful woman in the presidential suite, he angrily wanted to prove himself. And until today, he finally had this opportunity. Desperate Warriors was written by him. After so many years of research, extremists could not be applied to reality at all, and every human trial ended in failure. But just a few days ago, a nightmare gave him hope of success. In his dream, he saw a great being. That figure couldn't see its face clearly, and its origin was even less clear, but it possessed supreme power. He benefited a lot from just getting a glimpse of the other party's iceberg. Buzz. Looking at the black energy flowing in his palm, his eyes flashed with enthusiasm. This is exactly the power given to him by that great figure. Compared to those half-finished desperate warriors, only he knows how powerful the power he has gained is. Even a real number of desperate warriors can't do anything to him. Ding, Killian's emotional value plus 1111. Wait, Tony Stark. Killian clenched his fist fiercely and said in a deep voice. When I fully control this power, that's when you pay the price for despising me and insulting me. Tap tap tap. At the moment, a rush of footsteps sounded. A woman burst into the office angrily. She asked with all her face covered. Killian, what did we say? Why did you send the extremist warriors to provoke Tony Stark? This person's name is Maya Hansen, who is also a scientist studying extremists. But she studied extremists to treat illnesses and save lives. But just now, she actually saw the news about the extremist warriors attacking innocent people, and the victim was even Stark Industries CEO Pepper. She didn't know about the feud between Killian and Tony Stark. But she didn't want to see her hard work go to waste. Calm down, Maya. Killian looked indifferent and said unmoved. I know what I am doing, you just need to do your job well. Don't forget, I am the founder of AIM. As he spoke, Killian stood up and looked down at Maya Hansen. The latter's tone was stagnant, and his face was full of anger. But in the end she slammed the door angrily and left. In this pioneering technology, she is just a partner and has no right to speak at all. Faced with Killian's dictatorship, she was unable to resist. She regretted working with Killian in the first place. If she had known that the other person was this kind of person, she would not have been able to help him develop extremists no matter what. But now it's too late to regret it. No. Extremis is a great invention that benefits the world, and it must not become a butcher's knife for someone to do evil. Maya Hansen thought so and had the idea of leaving here. And in the office, Killian sat back calmly, his eyes flashing coldly. He immediately made a phone call and said, The show is about to begin. The night is long, just before dawn breaks. A piece of news shocked the entire United States. On this morning, the networks of multiple national news television stations were hacked, and a short video was released at the same time. Including on the internet, the same video went viral. The content of the video is also very simple. A middle-aged man who claimed to be Mandarin arrogantly admitted that he was responsible for the attack on Tony Stark, and challenged Tony Stark to publicly apologize. Otherwise, in three days, there will be a new round of attacks on Tony Stark. As soon as the news came out, the whole country was shocked. Tony Stark is a big star, and everyone, whether they like him or hate him, started talking about him. Many good people even clamored on the internet that Iron Man is a softie. They all wanted to see Tony Stark's response. And in a hospital ward, Tony Stark, who had been awake all night, learned the news immediately, and the anger in his heart was like a suppressed volcano. Mandarin. What a Mandarin. 
Tony Stark's face was extremely gloomy. He was worried about not being able to find the person behind the scenes, but he didn't expect that the other person would be arrogant enough to jump out on his own initiative. Fair enough. Perhaps by following the clues, he can find out Mandarin's true identity. Happy's revenge will never let go easily. J-A-R-V-I-S, investigate the origin of this video, find out where it was sent from, and the identity of this Mandarin. Tony Stark immediately gave instructions to J-A-R-V-I-S. And almost at the same time, communication requests came in one after another from Captain America and even Nick Fury. But Tony Stark directly asked all J-A-R-V-I-S to be blocked. This matter was clearly directed at him. So he wants to solve it alone, not wanting help from others, let alone interference from outsiders. Soon J-A-R-V-I-S began investigating relevant clues again. But this time he still gained nothing. No effective clues have been found regarding the source of the video or the identity of the so-called Mandarin in the video. With a bang, Tony Stark hit the wall in a circle. He always felt like he was being led by a pair of big hands. The result is obvious. The people behind the scenes are deliberately teasing him and even irritating him. When he completely loses his mind, the opponent will show his ferocious fangs. Tony Stark took deep breaths to calm down. He tried to analyze from the cobweb horse traces who was targeting him, and names appeared in his mind one by one. But after thinking about it, no one agrees with the current situation. Just when he felt a burst of impotent rage. Sir, there's an unknown call. Um, Tony Stark subconsciously wanted to refuse. But then he seemed to think of something and said in a low tone. Connected. Okay, sir. Soon the communication was connected, and a female voice came from the other side. Hello Mr. Stark, my name is Maya Hansen. I have something very important to tell you. Since you dare to betray me, dot hum, you are asking for your own death. AIM pioneered technology, Killian sat in the office with a cold look. Maya Hansen's actions are under his control. Even from the beginning, he never trusted the other party and only used the other party's research ability. If Maya Hansen wants to betray him, she has offended him. But this may also be an opportunity. Originally, he was going to deal with Tony Stark, but he was afraid of the Avengers. Now he just used Maya Hansen to lure the snake out of the hole. When it is no longer useful, all those who betrayed him will die. And that Tony Stark, I once despised him and played with him so much, and I had to pay a heavy price. Thinking of this, he immediately took out his phone and dialed. Calling all desperate warriors. Mandarin, it's really interesting. In a tea house in New York, Lin Fan is sipping fragrant tea. At the moment it is already noon. The matter of Mandarin openly provoking Tony Stark caused a stir on the internet and became a hot topic of public opinion for countless people. Even if Lin Fan didn't want to pay attention, he had to be forced to know about it. But all he cares about is the real Mandarin. It is different from the mentality of others who just eat melons and watch the show. Lin Fan knew that the Mandarin on TV was just a fake. The man behind it all is actually Killian. Ha, huh, he's just a joker. With a disdainful chuckle, Lin Fan didn't care much about Killian. The only one who holds his interest is the Mandarin. No one knows better than him, except for the Joker on TV, that Mandarin actually exists. Even Mandarin, who founded the Ten Rings, kidnapped Tony Stark. But where Mandarin is now is unknown. Mandarin has lived for thousands of years and possesses the Ten Rings, a magical weapon. His strength cannot be underestimated. I'm afraid even Thor Thor may not be his opponent. And the Ten Commandments are even more extraordinary. The Ten Commandments are a creation beyond the starry sky. Its power is not as powerful as that of treasures such as infinite gems, but it is still comparable to an artifact like Stormbreaker. Lin Fan was curious about Mandarin's identity and became even more interested in the Ten Rings. Maybe he could take this opportunity to watch a good show. Maybe Mandarin will appear by then. Ding, Mandarin's emotional value plus 1333. Dot. At the same time, far away in Germany. After hanging up the communication with Maya Hansen, Tony Stark's face was sullen, and a cold murderous aura emitted. Knowing the identity of the person behind the scenes, he didn't care if it was a trap. Because now he just wants to kill that fool. Killian. Just wait and I'll show you the cost of irritating me.
Tony Stark jumped right into action. He first asked Pepper to pay attention to his own safety, and asked Jarvis to separate out a subroutine and control a steel armor on standby at any time. He then controlled the steel armor and headed directly to the agreed upon location. That's where Killian is. Knowing the identity of the person behind the scenes, even if he knew it was a trap, he would still go through it himself. As for Killian, he is already determined to kill him. And Killian has the same idea. Just when Tony Stark went to the secret base of Pioneer Technology. Among the Avengers. Phil Coulson, you said Tony is missing. What is going on? Captain America asked Phil Coulson with a serious look on his face. Naturally, they also knew the relevant situation. On the cusp of this crisis, Tony Stark suddenly lost contact, and they were naturally very worried. Not sure. Facing the looks of Captain America and others, Phil Coulson shook his head in embarrassment. S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't find out what happened either. At present, they only know that someone is eyeing Tony Stark, and the latter's character has already taken the initiative to enter the game. Not long ago, they received news that Tony Stark had been found missing in Germany. It can be inferred based on the location where the steel armor was last discovered by the satellite. Its destination is suspected to be somewhere in the north of the United States. That's it again. Tony is so impulsive. Is there anything we can't discuss together? Captain America sighed dissatisfiedly, but there was nothing he could do. He knew this was Tony Stark's character. Now that the other party is missing, whether as a friend or an elder, he is very worried. Captain, what do you want to do? Phil Coulson asked proactively. The reason why he told Captain America the news was because he hoped that Captain America and others would take action. After all, no one wants to see anything happen to Tony Stark. I need a Quinjet. Captain America said, looking directly at the crowd and saying. Everyone, Tony is obviously being plotted. We can't just watch him jump into the trap. That's right. Captain, give the order. Bruce Banner stood up in unison. They are all very convinced of the captain of the United States and are willing to obey the other party's orders. And they don't want to see anything happen to their comrades. Let's go first and adapt accordingly when the time comes. Captain America said unreliable words, but no one complained. The Avengers are gathering again. As the Quinjet took off, everyone headed straight to the north of the United States, where Tony Stark's signal disappeared. Pioneer technology, where the secret base is located. Killian sat there, looking coldly at Maya Hansen in front of him. Killian, you're using me. Maya Hansen roared. Even when she was beaten to death, she never expected that all her actions would be monitored by the other party. Doesn't that mean that all this was done intentionally by the other party? You know, she told Tony Stark the location here. If Killian had been prepared, or even did it deliberately, then this was a trap for Tony Stark. Tony Stark jumped in unprepared, and the consequences were absolutely disastrous. Huh, yous. Killian sneered disdainfully, shook his head and said. This is not taking advantage, it's just that you are too stupid, just as stupid as that Tony Stark. Take it down. Killian waved Maya Hansen away. He ignored the other party's curses throughout. When he thought that Tony Stark was about to come to his door and jump into the trap he had prepared, his body trembled slightly with excitement. Tony Stark, I'm really looking forward to it. Will you like my gift? Killian said with an almost sick look. Then he looked at the people around him and asked. Did my old classmate come over? Number 5 has succeeded. My subordinates respectfully report. After Tony Stark left, Number 5 and the others took action to capture Pepper Potts, and they are now on their way back. No, sir, something happened to Miss Pepper. Seeing that they were about to arrive at their destination, the voice of Jarvis suddenly sounded. There is also a surveillance video of the scene. I saw a few superpowers, very similar to those who attacked Happy before, and directly destroyed the steel armor he left behind. After killing a group of police officers, the men arrested Pepper Potts. This group of people finally disappeared into the surveillance blind spot and disappeared without a trace. Seeing this scene, Tony Stark's eyes were splitting. His whole eyes were filled with blood red. There was blood in his eyes, and an extremely strong desire to kill almost went to his head. And in his body, some kind of power called death quietly grew. Faintly Tony Stark actually has a blackened tendency. Killian. 
You deserve to die. Tony Stark roared, but his remaining sanity allowed him to calm down. He tried hard to restrain the desire to kill that was about to explode at any time. It's too late to go back now. No one knows where Pepper was caught. For now, there is only one way to go. Maybe after he solves the person behind the scenes, he can find Pepper's whereabouts. Thinking of this, he fell directly from the sky. The valley with defense facilities in front of him was exactly the location Maya Hansen had given him simultaneously. Killian, get out of here. Tony Stark shouted loudly, his voice was like thunder. He would not be stupid enough to throw himself into a trap. However, he also knew very well that since he had arrived at the enemy's base, it was not much different from surrendering himself into a trap. But he is confident that it is his steel armor and he will be invincible. Tap tap tap. Soon a group of people walked out of the underground base. The leader is none other than Killian. Next to Killian, there was Maya Hansen who was tied up, looking guilty at the moment. Mr. Stark, run. This is a trap. Maya Hansen tries to remind Tony Stark. Killian didn't stop either. He looked at the former idol in front of him indifferently, his heart was ups and downs, but more importantly, he was proud. No matter how talented you are, aren't you being fooled around by me now? I haven't treated Mr. Stark well, how could I just leave like this? Killian patted Maya Hansen on the cheek. In the latter's angry eyes, he turned to look at Tony Stark and pointedly said. Besides, Mr. Stark is traveling all the way. As the host, how can I make the guests travel in vain? You think so, Mr. Stark? Killian asked jokingly. Snort. Tony Stark snorted, how could he not hear Killian's sarcasm? But he really didn't know what the conflict was between the two. Not bothering to engage in any conspiracy, he said in a deep voice. Why are you targeting me? I don't think we have any conflicts, right? You can make whatever conditions you want. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Killian applauded with emotion on his face. But then he looked cold and said. As expected of Tony Stark, even now, you don't think of me, a nobody. Ha ha ha, how ridiculous. Killian laughed maniacally as he spoke. Tony Stark watched silently. The more sick Killian behaved, the more worried he became, fearing that he would do something bad to Pepper. But he didn't dare to show it, so he could only say with a calm face. Do we have any conflicts? If so, I, I can apologize to you. Ha 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 ha. Killian became even more crazy after hearing this. It's really ridiculous that someone as proud as Tony Stark would apologize to him. But he knew very well that it was all because of a woman. Tony Stark, Tony Stark. Killian paced back and forth and said in a mocking tone. I never expected that the famous Iron Man, a genius inventor, would actually be willing to apologize to me, a nobody. You said that if I didn't agree, wouldn't it be too disrespectful? As he spoke, he waved his hand at his men. Suddenly one person took out a tablet. What is shown on it is somewhere in a base, where Pepper is placed. Next to Pepper stood several guys dressed as experimenters. What do you want to do? With a sudden thought, Tony Stark asked. Shish. Killian raised his fingers to his mouth and said in a faint tone. You are the famous Iron Man, how can the woman you were looking for be an ordinary person? This is not in line with your reputation as Tony Stark. As a former fan of yours, I will give you a big gift today. Killian said, raising his hands in the air. Like a crazy psychopath, he looked crazy and said. Extremis is the greatest invention in the world, a miracle, and a gift from our God. Ding. Killian's emotional value plus 1111. Ding. You will definitely like my gift. As he spoke, Killian gave an order. Do it. The experimenters in the picture took out syringes and prepared to inject extremis into Pepper. Stop. Stop it. Ding. Tony Stark's eyes were split and his face was almost distorted. The suppressed anger cannot be contained at this moment. Wisps of black aura quietly spread out from his body, making his already angry mind even more irrational. Kill. Kill. Kill them all. Kill everyone here. A bewitching demonic whisper sounded. Suddenly, Tony Stark's eyes were bloodshot, as if he were a demon incarnate, and he let out an inhuman roar. Ding. Tony Stark's emotional value plus 2333. Kill. The next moment, Tony Stark flashed and raised his hand with a blazing palm thunder. The two people next to Killian were blown away and their limbs flew away. 
including Killian himself, who was accidentally knocked to the ground by the aftermath of the explosion. But then he stood up directly. Ha ha ha. Looking at Tony Stark losing his mind, Killian smiled instead of angry. He said calmly to the subordinates behind him. Go. Don't kill him. Swish, swish, swish. A group of desperate warriors rushed out. As their bodies twisted, their bodies turned red like lava, faintly mixed with black aura. These people are like some kind of evil creature from hell. Boom boom boom. In the blink of an eye, the two sides were fighting together. Compared to those desperate warriors, Tony Stark is like a madman, and his reason has been filled with anger. Bang bang. Several more desperate warriors were beaten to pieces, their limbs flying everywhere. Snort. Seeing the desperate warriors under his command retreating steadily, Killian snorted coldly. His body suddenly disappeared on the spot. When he reappeared, he was already behind Tony Stark. Feeling the crisis coming from behind, Tony Stark was not afraid, turned around suddenly, and punched back with his right fist. The two fists collided. The human body and the steel armor were shaking violently at this moment. A huge force was transmitted to their bodies. Tony Stark and Killian swished back a few steps at the same time, and the next moment they were killing each other again. Bang bang bang. The two figures were instantly entangled. During the brief confrontation, Tony Stark became increasingly angry. Because he clearly perceived that Killian's physical strength far exceeded that of the steel armor. It's more like a monster than a human. Maya Hansen in the distance exclaimed in horror. Killian, actually injected himself with Extremis, but how could he be so powerful? Watching Killian fighting fiercely with Tony Stark, disbelief appeared on her face. As a developer, no one knows Extremis better than she does. This is a strengthening potion that still needs to be perfected. Many experiments have been conducted before, but in the end they all failed and could not perfectly achieve the effect of strengthening the human body. But Killian not only succeeded, but he was also so powerful. At this moment Killian is like a humanoid Superman. I'm afraid even compared to the Avengers, Killian can't give in too much, right? Ding, Maya Hansen's emotional value plus 1111. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1333. Not to mention what Maya Hansen thinks. At the moment, as an opponent, Tony Stark himself was also frightened and angry, staring at the enemy in front of him. Although he was blinded by anger, it didn't mean that he was brainless. He could tell that Killian was very powerful. Just relying on his own strength may not be able to solve the opponent, let alone save Pepper. Thinking of this, his face became more and more gloomy. What? Are you scared? Is that all Tony Stark can do? Killian had a sinister smile on his face. As he spoke, he stepped forward suddenly, his arms suddenly spread out, and his whole body flew out like a cannonball. He instantly knocked Tony Stark away with a direct fire punch. At the same time, Killian stepped forward and clenched his other fist, causing a series of sonic booms. Another punch was thrown hard, and the sonic explosion exploded. Tony Stark was caught off guard and flew upside down, unable to resist at all, and the steel armor on his body became even more dilapidated. Click. The sound of metal denting resounded, and Tony Stark fell heavily to the ground. A look of pain appeared on his face. Killian was injected with Extremis and infected with the breath of Cthulhu, becoming as strong as a humanoid beast. The armor he has developed now is no match for him. Seeing that he himself was in danger. It's over. Maya Hansen in the distance fell into despair and was filled with shame. It was all because of her that Tony Stark was killed. She yelled at Killian. Stop. Killian. You can't kill him, otherwise the Avengers won't let you go. Avengers. Ha ha. Killian sneered disdainfully, not even looking at Maya Hansen. He looked down at the embarrassed Tony Stark. Perhaps because he was too excited, the skin around him was like boiling magma, emitting terrifying heat. Tony Stark, today is the day you die. Killian laughed wildly, caught up with him again, and stepped on Tony's head. He wanted to do his best to humiliate this former idol. Ding, Killian's emotional value plus 1333. Seeing Tony Stark in danger. Maya Hansen was anxious, but she was helpless, after all, she was just an ordinary person. But soon, she thought of a way to save people. Because of the battle just now, Killian's men were all dead and injured. 
At the moment, no one paid attention to her at all. Taking this opportunity, she quickly retreated quietly and returned to the base. The restraints on his body made it very difficult for him to move. She ran back to the base with difficulty, returned to her room, and took out the hidden communication equipment. She didn't know the Avengers communication channel. So she could only use the simplest way, call the police. The call was answered soon. I want to call the police. Maya Hansen said anxiously. Something happened to Tony Stark. Please contact the Avengers quickly. This is the unknown location where my communication is located. Dot. Found Tony. On the Quinjet, Melinda exclaimed. Captain America and others hurriedly asked. Where? Just now, someone asked the police for help, saying that Tony Stark was in danger. Melinda explained while turning the fighter plane's direction. I will take you to the communication position now. Tony must hold on. Captain America and others became increasingly solemn. Although they knew the news about Tony Stark and couldn't even confirm whether it was true or false, they were more worried. All they could hope for now was that Tony Stark would hold on until they arrived. Quinjet flies at speeds exceeding the speed of sound. More than an hour later, everyone arrived somewhere north of the United States, and radar detected battle fluctuations in the distance. It must be Tony, Captain America said in a deep voice and quickly asked Melinda to rush over. Bruce Banner and others are ready for battle. When the Quinjet was hovering in midair, Captain America took the lead, and everyone jumped out of the cabin. Meanwhile, in the valley below, Tony Stark, you despised and humiliated me back then, and now I want to repay you a hundredfold. Killian stomped on Tony Stark's head. The armor that wrapped around Tony Stark's head was distorted by the trampling, causing him to cry out in pain. Tony Stark tried to struggle, but the damage to his armor was too severe. At the moment he was already in danger. How pitiful. Feeling Tony Stark's struggle, Killian became more and more proud. He mocked even more proudly and wildly. Iron Man, I'm so scared, you never know what real power is. Killian looked down at Tony Stark. He felt like he was a superior god. No one knows better than him how powerful the power he has gained is. Extremis is less than one ten thousandth. It was driven by this power that he perfectly integrated Extremis, possessing extraordinary power comparable to Superman. Even the Avengers were not taken seriously by him. Not to mention a mere Tony Stark. Without the iron armor, Tony Stark is no better than an ordinary person, he is nothing more than a waste. Ding. Killian's emotional value plus 1,333. I am Mandarin. Enjoying the feeling of being like God, Killian opened his arms. The idols he once worshipped stood beneath his feet. At this moment, he felt that he had reached the peak of his life. The power I possess and the power of my God are beyond the imagination of a mortal like you. Killian said, directly asking people to catch Tony Stark. He won't let the other person die easily. Tony Stark, doesn't he care about that woman? If this is the case, then he will severely humiliate that woman in front of Tony Stark. When he thought of that scene, he was shaking with excitement. Tony Stark. Looking down at Tony Stark at his feet, Killian said proudly. I will entertain you and your woman well. Ha 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 ha. Boom. At the moment, a shield roared towards me. Killian, who was smiling, was knocked away. From the valley in the distance, Captain America and others ran over quickly and stood directly in front of Tony Stark. Tony, are you okay? Seeing Tony Stark's miserable appearance, everyone was very worried. Captain America's eyes were filled with suppressed anger. Of course, they also knew what happened to Pepper, and they knew exactly why Tony Stark was fighting alone. At the moment when facing the initiator, everyone no longer suppresses themselves. Ho ho. Hulk is very angry. Bruce Banner transformed into Hulk and jumped up. The ground shook violently like an earthquake. Hulk rushed towards Killian, and his fist as big as a sandbag crashed down with a force that was enough to crack mountains and crack rocks. But at the next moment, Killian also punched in anger. The two fists collided suddenly. What shocked everyone was that Hulk, who had always been invincible, was actually blocked by this punch. Immediately afterwards, Killian's whole body glowed with fire. In an instant, he turned into a burning man. As his body grew larger, blazing heat emitted from his body. You ant, how dare you kill a god? 
Killian's roar shook the sky, and blazing flames swept across. Hulk was immediately burned and retreated. Even with his abnormal physical fitness, he could not bear the blazing high temperature. Ding, Hulk's emotional value plus 1,333. Ding, Tony Stark's emotional value plus 1,333. Ding, Captain America's emotional value is plus 1,333. Ding, under the shocked gaze of everyone. You all die. Killian came forward and punched out, the fire was overwhelming. Hulk was immediately beaten and roared repeatedly. Looking at Killian angrily, Hulk punched his chest and rushed out with a roar. There's something wrong with this guy. At the moment, Tony Stark's weak voice sounded. As he spoke, he even started coughing continuously. Captain America and others quickly helped Tony Stark up. Are you okay, Tony? I'm fine. Tony Stark waved his hand, but his expression was very ugly. There was even a hint of blood at the corner of his mouth. Looking at Killian who was on par with Hulk, he suppressed the anger in his heart and reiterated. This guy is probably related to the evil god Cthulhu. What? Captain America and others exclaimed, their expressions changing slightly. Ding. Looking at Killian in the distance, everyone looked at Tony Stark and asked in a deep voice. Who is this person? Tony? What did you find? They fully understand the horror of Cthulhu. Now, a guy suddenly appeared, and he was actually related to the evil god, and their expressions suddenly became serious. This man captured Pepper and tried every possible means to lure me here, but I don't know him at all. Tony Stark shook his head, feeling very depressed. He couldn't remember who Killian was. But this fool, even though he was targeting him, he actually attacked Pepper. When he thought of this, his eyes were filled with murderous intent. Do not know. Captain America and others were dumbfounded and looked at each other. This is truly an unforeseen disaster. However, they knew very well that this person would not target Tony without reason, and there was definitely a hidden agenda. But now is obviously not the time to dwell on this. Now is not the time for small talk. Looking at the enraged Hulk in the distance, Captain America said in a deep voice. Let's go. With that said, Captain America rushed out directly. Holding a vibranium shield, he directly joined the battlefield and fought against those desperate warriors. Tony, be careful. Hawkeye and Natasha Romanoff followed closely behind. Regarding the safety of Tony Stark, S.H.I.E.L.D. also sent help. These two people can be regarded as the only combat units of S.H.I.E.L.D. Suddenly everyone broke into a fight. All the Avengers faced off against Killian and his desperate warriors. The scene was a big brawl. J-A-R-V-I-S, any news from Pepper? Tony Stark really wants to take action and kill this fool Killian. But his state at the moment was no longer able to fight anymore. And compared to revenge, he cared more about Pepper's safety and wanted to know the news about Pepper. Can't find it. J-A-R-V-I-S's cold voice sounded. Tony Stark's heart sank. He glanced at Killian. He held on to his weak body and controlled the steel armor to rush towards the entrance of the base. He thought of the kidnapped woman before, maybe she could help him. At the moment, the base was also in chaos. All extremist soldiers have been mobilized, and the only ones left in the base are those researchers studying extremists. This is why Maya Hansen was able to escape back to the room smoothly. Tony Stark walks through the base. At the same time, he rang Maya Hansen's phone and asked J-A-R-V-I-S directly to contact her. He had noticed Maya Hansen escaping back to the base before. I just don't know if I can contact the other party. Dee 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 dee. The urgent bell rang slowly. Tony Stark was anxious, and while he kept searching, he prayed in his heart that he could contact Maya Hansen. Just as he walked around a corner, the communication was suddenly connected. Mr. Stark, you. Maya Hansen's surprised voice came from the other side. After all, in her opinion, Tony Stark was fighting Killian at the moment and should not be distracted from contacting her. But before she could finish her sentence, Tony Stark said in a deep voice. The Avengers Alliance has arrived, Killian has them to deal with. I want to know about Pepper. Very good. Maya Hansen, who was hiding in the room, was overjoyed when she heard this. Avengers Alliance is a very powerful organization. This time Killian is dead. But when faced with Tony Stark's inquiry, she said helplessly. I don't know, but. She remembered that Pepper was the CEO of Stark Industries and Killian's classmate. 
Killian kidnapped Pepper, definitely to get revenge on Tony Stark. Although she didn't know where Pepper was, Pioneer Technology did have an industrial park in Germany. She quickly told Tony Stark this information. Pioneer Technology. Industrial Park. Tony Stark was overjoyed when he heard this and felt like he saw hope. After receiving the information, he quickly changed direction. At the same time, he said to the communication. I pulled you into the Avengers Alliance's communication channel. If you have any information, I hope you can synchronize it with us. This will be very helpful in dealing with that fool. JARVIS directly incorporates Maya Hansen into Avengers Alliance internal communications. Tony Stark briefly explained the situation. Then he rushed to Germany again. At the same time, Captain America, who was fighting, raised his shield and knocked away the enemy in front of him. Then he asked in a deep voice through the communication channel. Miss Hansen, do you know any information about that guy? He was bewitched by the evil god. Maya Hansen said astonishingly. Ding. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.